Hello everyone, my name is K. Chen Chiriti, working as an assistant professor in Tigre Krishna at Engineering College. So welcome to my channel. My channel name is Accelerate Your Research. So if, uh, if you are watching first time, subscribe my channel. This video, I will explain what is Clark transformation, what is Park transformation, where we are using this Clark transformation and Park transformation, and I will show output waveforms. Clark transformation and Park transformation. Okay, this transformation theory very useful in uh, control system, controlling a power electronic device, uh, controlling an induction motor controlling, and in district of in power system, start come controlling the start come. Okay, this uh, Clark transformation theory and Park transformation theory are very important. Okay, before designing this simulation, first I will explain description about Clark transformation and Park transformation. View presentation. I will explain PPT first. Where, where uh, applications of Clark transformation and Park transformation. After that, I will design uh, Clark transformation and Park transformation in MATLAB sending software. This is the field oriented control of induction motor. Okay, this is the in this uh, image. Have, this is one square box in the square box. This is total is the control scheme. Here, this is the BDC is the inverter input voltage. Three phase inverter input voltage is BDC and three phase inverter output terminals connected to the AC motor. Okay, this is total inverter inverter it converts DC to AC. This is the here how. Clark transformation and Park transformation and inverse Park transformation and the space vector pulse width modulation technique and PA controller. Okay, these are the reference values, a uh, direct axis reference value and quadrature axis reference values. Okay, now first I will explain here. Here these three are the uh, IA and IB and IC. Okay, IA and IB and IC, three are the three phase input reference currents connected to the Clark transformation inputs. Next, Clark, Clark transformation outputs are IS alpha and IS beta. This Clark, Clark, Clark transformation, it converts ABC to alpha beta. Okay, this is the Clark transformation. Next to this Park transformation, it converts alpha beta to DQ axis. Okay, this is the alpha beta to DQ axis. This is Park transformation. This is Clark transformation. Next year, inverse Park transformation. This inverse Park transformation opposite to Park transformation. Here, Park transformation it converts alpha to beta, alpha alpha comma beta to DQ. This inverse Park transformation it converts DQ to alpha. Okay. This this inverse Park transformation output connected to the space vector pulse width modulation input. Okay. The request. The requirement of this transformation theory, if, if we want to control in AC quantities, we need to control a phase angle and a magnitude in AC. In DC, we will only control magnitude only. For in DC, we will control easily, okay, only magnitude, the value of I, 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 D and IQ values. Okay, if we want to control AC, we need to control magnitude and phase angle. For simplification of control theory, okay. For simplification of calculations, we are converting this uh, ABC to DQ and DQ to ABC transformation. Here, theta also is there. Okay, I will explain what is theta in simulation. This is the induction motor control diagram. Next, this is the second synchronous reference frame theory. This synchronous reference th frame theory we usually in Controlling start com circuit and de start com circuit. Okay, static synchronous compensator. Okay. In start com and de start com, we use it with this synchronous reference frame theory. In this synchronous reference frame theory, uh, this is the ILA, ILB, ILC are the load side currents. This here ABC to DQ. ABC to DQ means this is the power transformation. 
okay this this phase tl means phase lock loop this phase lock loop inputs are three phase input supply voltages this phase lock loop it generate here theta okay this is sin theta and cos theta next this is the pa controller pa controller input vdc and v vd reference okay this is controlling dc capacitor in statka lpf is the low pass filters next this is the inverse power transformation inverse power transformation it converts dq to abc this is synchronous reference frame theory the synchronous reference frame theory used in power system okay this is the clark transformation this clark transformation it converts abc to alpha abc to alpha beta this is a and b c are 120 degrees phase shift okay this abc to here alpha beta this is is alpha and is beta phase shift is uh, this phase angle difference is 90 degrees this is clark transformation next what is mean by pln means pln means phase lock loop this pln it locking the input frequency and output frequency frequency okay pll operate by producing an oscillator frequency to match the frequency of input signal okay this pll it locking input frequency and output frequency next i will start simulations i will design okay first this is the matlab uh, matlab i am using matlab 2015 software okay now first i will go to library In library, first I will go to commonly used blocks. In commonly used block, I will take one scope and I will take one mux. Okay, these two main required. Next, I will go to signal routing. In signal routing, I will take one from block and one go to block. Next, I will go to sinks. Next, I will check in sources. In sources, I will take one sine wave. Okay, next I need ABC. Uh, Transformation blocks, Clark transformation block and Park transformation blocks. Okay, first I will take an ABC two. I need one ABC two. No alpha beta zero. Next, I need one ABC two DQ reference reference frame three. Next, I need one PLL. PLL means space lock loop. Okay, I will take this three phase PLL. Now I will design circuit Clark transformation and Park transformation circuits. We'll drag one by one. We need three supply voltages. Okay, V, A, B, C, and I will do amplitude amplitude here 0 0.95. 0 0.95. I will apply frequency 2 pi 2 pi into 50. This is the supply frequency. Next, I will take one more sine wave. Okay, I will give your phase difference is 120 degrees. 120 means 2 into pi into 50 divided by 3. This is plus 120 degree, plus 120 degrees phase shift. Next, I will take one more sine wave. And I will apply here minus 120, minus 120. I will apply this one. Okay, now I will connect these three AC inputs. I will connect it to D MUX. Okay, this MUX. How to use MUX? I explained it in my previous video. Okay, you will watch in Simlink playlist. I will connect to these three inputs. 
max. Now I will this max output. Max output I will connect it to ABC. Next, this ABC also I will connect to here. Now I will connect to this ABC PLL A PLL input connected to, to this ABC. Next, I need one. I need this omega t. Okay, I will take one go to block. I will connect omega t here. I will rewrite here. I will remove this a and I will apply a, wt. Okay. Now I will connect to this from block. I will apply here. I will apply here omega t. Okay, I will apply omega t. Next. I will I will open I will double click this one. I will apply number of access three. Okay. Now I will connect this. One is connected to three phase ABC. Second one is connected to, to DQ difference frame theory. Third one connected to alpha beta. Okay. Now I will take one terminator. I will take one terminator. I will connect it to your frequency because I am not using this frequency. That's why I'm connecting your terminator. Now I will now I will simulate the circuit. Okay, I will show output waveform. Okay, this is the output waveform. This is the three phase input. Okay, these three are three phases. This is the DQ. DQ reference frame theory, uh, DQ axis, okay, here, zero, uh, DQ zero, one is D is magnitude here one, remaining two are here, next to this one is, third one is the alpha beta, third one is the alpha beta zero, okay, this alpha beta and zero, these two phase shift is 90 degrees, alpha and beta 90 degrees, third one is the zero, these three are the Clark transformation. The second one is the uh, Park transformation. The third one is the Clark transformation. This is the input wave. Now I will explain inverse Park transformation and inverse Clark transformation. I will go to library. I will type here inverse I, INV. Just I will type INV. I will type I inverse INV here. Okay. Here I will I will select this alpha beta G, alpha beta to ABC next to DQ to ABC. I will select this two. I will drag side one by one. Now I will connect this DQ uh, ABC to DQ. Park transformation output connected to inverse park transformation input next i will connect to this clark transformation output connected to inverse of uh, park inverse clark transformation output now i will take one scope i will take one scope i will double click this one i will go to settings i will apply number of axes is 5 Okay, I will number of axis per. Next, I will take one more omega t. I will connect it here. Omega t. Omega t is the angle, theta angle. Now, I will connect first one connected to three phase input. Second one is connected to uh, fourth transformation input. Third one connected to Clark transformation. Uh, second one connected to fourth transformation output. Third one connected to Clark transformation output. Next, fourth one connected to Inverse Clark transformation output. Fifth one connected to inverse Clark transformation output. Now I will simulate the circuit. Now I will show total five waveforms. Okay, these are the total. First one is the input. Second one is the Clark transformation. Third one is the Clark transformation. Again, inverse Clark transformation. Inverse Clark transformation. Okay, this this. Uh, Transformation theory very useful in 
concluding in electrical missions, in induction motors, synchronous motors, in power system also, in transmission, transmission controlling, distribution controlling. Okay, this transformation theory is very useful. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.